Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the code here. Uh, I'm no longer going to worry about uh, Chrome. I'm going to go ahead and work with my car fall 2024. Uh, and let's see what we've got here. Uh, here's the source directory. Okay, here's my car. Uh, here's my car package. Here is uh, the car interface. Okay, and I might have to change some of this stuff. Uh, and if I do, I will make sure I reflect these changes in my car starter. But I, I've been working on this a little bit and hopefully it's pretty good. Um, the interface should be good. Uh, car door should be good. Door state should be good. These are just mm, enum types. Gear should be good. Um, location should be good. And message, mm, message will need work. Okay, but uh, I can't, you know, fix all of this today. But uh, notice that the messages, the message file is just a bunch of constants. Okay, it's a public class message and all of these constants are public, static, final. And uh, the naming convention for these uh, constant strings are the action and, um, you know, something about uh the response okay so this is start as the action and already uh gives me a hint that th if i'm ch trying to change the state of something it is already in that state so i'm trying to start the car the car is already started so i'm calling this message start underscore already and the message will be the car is already on okay and then here you can see um, start not yet driver uh, and I put something after not yet not not yet means there's something that needs to be done before you can uh, complete this action all right and um, that can be a lot of different things so I added this as kind of a uh, a hint at what uh, this thing is now and right here actually let me close that you have to be in the car before you can start it okay so it doesn't have a driver in the car you can't start the car not yet because it has to have a driver in it okay um, and uh, a lot of these things and this is kind of subject to change but when it does change uh, I'm still going to use these same naming conventions so you have kind of a pretty good idea of, uh, of what these things mean. And you can always just read the text to see more precisely what this means.